Hello, thank you for having me. My name is Tony Berducci. I wanted to talk to you all a little bit today about um, our new uh, pretzeloni product. It's been out a little over a year. Our company is called Abruzzi Brand, and we're thrilled to be working with HD Hackney. Um, I'm going to leave the presentation in this slideshow version. I, this is the best luck I have. If I go to a full screen, sometimes I lose my video. But in any event, uh, back in October, I had the pleasure of working with your corporate and getting this authorized with some of your great team. Um, uh, this is just a fun product. And I'll just take you through a little bit of about a 10 minute presentation. Uh, I would have loved to be at your meeting and we had some conflicts. Um, so in any event, um, I just wanted to share this with you. By the way, I am available after this. All my contact information Adam Cook has. Um, I'm available to meet, meet with your groups, ride with, offer any support, training, information that you may need. Um, so whatever, we can get to that. So with that, um, how did we and why did we develop pretzel roni? Well, we had so much fun with pepperoni rolls, but we did know that <clears throat> a big majority are sold in a region. And of course, it's our region. We live in the pepperoni roll capital of the world. We wanted to innovate the category a little bit and bring uh, some new sales to the category. So when we looked at uh, pretzel dough, and of course, we know that Philly pretzel, Wetzel pretzel, Annie Ann's are sold at malls, convenience stores, um, airports throughout the country. We know that pretzel dough is very widely accepted. Um, and then when we look at pepperoni, we know that pepperoni is also widely accepted. Uh, last year, 50% of Domino's pizzas uh, were ordered with pepperoni. It out, actually outsold uh, just an original plain pizza. Uh, pepperoni's a fan favorite everywhere. It's loved everywhere. So now we know pretzel, pretzel dough works, pepperoni works. Um, you know, one other thing that we did when we were developing this, you may be familiar with the Dot Expressway. We're not in Dot, we're not pushing Dot. I'm just trying to explain that on the Expressway, they have a search engine. And we went into the search engine um, and typed in the word pretzel and we got 500 results. When we typed in pepperoni, we got 300 results. When we combined them, pretzel and pepperoni, we got one. Um, and by the way, it's not a very good item. I'm not picking on them. Uh, it's a, a Tyson item that was really made for school nutritionals and it delivers no pretzel taste. But in any event, the point is 500 items, pretzel, 300 pepperoni. And when you combine them, there's one. So um, with that, introducing pretzelroni. We, we, uh, we come in two sizes, original and junior. And we're proud of a lot of things of our product. Um, we do make it right up here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, but we're proud that we deliver first a real pretzel taste. So authentic pretzel recipes date back um, uh, hundreds of years and they're done with a caustic wash, most commonly um, called lye. Lye is the common ingredient in Drano. It's a high pH solution. And when it bakes off, it does neutralize. So it doesn't hurt you, it's not poison after it's baked and it creates the real pretzel taste. We don't use lye. We use a common safe uh, food service ingredient, but we do alter it to get the pH closer to a lye level. And I will tell you, um, this delivers an authentic, delicious pretzel taste. Then if you combine uh, melted uh, mozzarella cheese with pepperoni, combined with the pretzel taste, it's just a winner. Uh, we're very proud of our product. Again, we have two sizes, original and junior. The original is 5.5 ounces, maybe a 3.99 retail. The junior is a little more than half of that at three ounces, about a 2.79 um, uh, retail. That's given everybody full margins across the board. Um, here's a quick look at our handling instructions. It, it is a frozen case. Uh, so it comes in frozen. We put everything in the case that the retailer needs and I'll, I'll cover some of that. Um, but one of the important steps of our product, because it is a live yeast product, is you have to proof it. Um, if you've ever gone with your family to your favorite steakhouse, and I know my family eats three loaves of the bread that they bring out from the back before their meal comes and we ruin every, every meal because it's so darn good because it's made with live yeast. Um, the live yeast um, has to raise, it has to be active, and then you can bake it. So there's two ways to proof. <coughs> Excuse me. The first way we don't really recommend, but you can set them out at room temperature covered for two hours and then bake them. 
you'll see the does start to grow and raise just like you would think of in a normal sense. Um, however, if you make six um, and you sell six, you're two hours away from having six more. If you do it the second way, it's better for inventory control. We recommend that you proof them covered in refrigeration. If they're in there overnight, you can pull from that tray for up to two days. So essentially you could proof two or three days worth of product. Um, I'd, I'd rather say more so two days um, and pull right from that tray. And even if they warm up for 10 minutes outside of that before they go in the oven, they'll do just fine. Uh, we actually um, use the more active, aggressive yeast to be able to do that. So the proofing is happening while it's in refrigeration so we don't have the bottleneck. Uh, cooking, 456 minutes. Uh, we've had a lot of people lower that to 425 and go to seven minutes. The point is every oven will need dialed in um, just to you know get it perfect, um, but it's easy to dial in. Once they're browned, uh, browning happens in the last, say, two or three minutes of the product cooking, lightly um, brushed with some butter. We provide pretzel salt in the case. That's an important step because um, I know when we started, we did. And sea salt and other types of salt just aren't the same um, uh, ingredients as pretzel salt. For one, pretzel salt has a whiter, um, it's not as translucent as a sea salt, and it also doesn't melt at such a low temperature. Um, so this is the best solution. I will also tell you that when people think of hot pretzels, they think of taking um, and coating the whole pretzel in salt. And that's too much salt for this product. You just need a light dusting because the pepperoni and cheese all already have a sodium, uh, they already have sodium attributes. So just a light dusting of um, salt on top of the butter. We also provide bakery bags and labels in the case. Um, the labels are scannable. Um, there's a QR code for a three or four minute video if uh, any operators want to watch uh, or a new employee starts and they want to watch a quick handling uh, video it's on youtube but that's where this takes them and then you can hold in a warmer for up to three hours um, we do uh, we do say three hours if it goes to four it's probably not the greatest for the product at two hours and three hours everything tastes great and fresh um, we're also very proud uh, of our store sign up page our sign up page will also allow your stores to, um, it does a few things, to order the point of sale, which is free. We have these rigid cards. They can attach to any hard surface, indoor or outdoor. Uh, you can place the card in a few different ways. This goes on top of a warmer real nice. Um, we also have window claims or warmer claims like you see in the picture. And this also gets them on the mapping page. <coughs> Excuse me. The mapping page is great because we do fund and spend money on Facebook and Instagram and ways and consumers driving by those stores will get alerted. A store near them uh, carries pretzel roni. And of course, then they could click on it to get instructions to that store. Um, I also referenced this uh, quick training video. It's about a three to four minute video, soup to nuts, and it talks to your employees uh, or your store um, employees about how to handle, how to store, how to proof it, et cetera. Um, again, it's just a really nice turnkey solution with the pretzel salt is in the case now. Um, back in October, um, when um, I presented to your corporate, this was the same presentation. So we were working on hacking numbers. We now have those and we'll share those with you as well. Um, we have a retailer presentation you can use, very similar to this. It just cuts out some of the wholesaler parts. Um, we also have a sample request form and a spec sheet. Um, and what to look for when you go into a store that you might think would be a good fit for pretzeloni, if they're currently doing a pizza program, other bake off items, um, you know, we're all in food service. So if you look around and see that they have an employee or two or a team designated to food service, they're going to be a great fit. If their version of food service is thon serve donuts or microwaving, um, you know, Jimmy Dean sandwiches, um, they're a great customer, they're probably not a great fit. So we know um, that some of those people won't do well with the product. So, you know, if you wanna just keep an eye out for the customers you think would work and then the ones you think would work, uh, it, it'll be a home run for them. Uh, you all have samples in your warehouse. Uh, we send out sample kits, but you also have inventory. I'm happy to work with any of you on pulling samples, uh, just communicate. 
Um, I'm also available for any Zoom or in-person key account calls, ride with. I think I said that at the beginning of this. I'd love to work with your team, spend a week down there um, and just go see some of your key accounts. Um, you know, I'm sure right away you have in your mind some accounts this is going to be a great fit for. Um, here's to a great partnership for 2021. When I was at Hackney in October, it was just a beautiful sunny day in October. So uh, there's, a, there's a fun picture for you. And um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, lastly, this is again the, the same picture as the beginning. Just wanted to thank everybody. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. Um, I hope you have fun with this. I'll, I hope you're able to try pretzel running today. And um, in the meantime, I'll look forward to any follow up. And uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.